I love you with my heart, with my soul, with every fibre of my entire being. Together we can make this world a much more harmonious place. How are you today? How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Not how are you, but how are you feeling? In here, inside your heart, inside your body, your soul, your vibration. How is your vibration today? Are you in touch with your vibration? Can you feel it? Do you know it? Do you sense it? Are you your vibration? Or are you everything else outside of your vibration? Feel yourself. You're powerful. Today I want to share with you seven things that human beings that have had a vibrational shift do or experience. Number one, once you wake up and you have a shift and you start to become aware, you reconnect with your soul and you feel your energy, you feel your lights and you are no longer dictated to or driven or pulled in a certain direction by life. You become a master of, of your mind, a controller of your soul and you start to listen to that voice, that feeling, that knowing, that inner world that knows exactly which direction you should travel in. And without hesitation, you move, you flow, you take action. And you do it without thinking, because you're connected. And that connection, my friend, is the key to life. It's the key to allowing, accepting, and knowing that you are a formidable force that has the power to move mountains, create planets, shift universes. To make the stars dance. To elevate consciousness across our beautiful big green and blue planet that we call Earth. That connection to your own inner nature, your own divine oneness, your light. It's like a compass. Once you connect to it, it will steer you, guide you and move you in the direction of your dreams. Allow it to do so. Feel it. Don't think it. Know it. Don't believe it. Once you experience a vibrational shift, number two occurs and you start to connect with nature. And when I say nature, I'm talking about the trees, the birds, the animals, the fish, the sun, the moon, the stars, plants, flowers. But I'm also talking about everything else. I'm talking about your environment. And when I'm talking about your environment, I'm also talking about you. Because there is no separation. There is no you and your environment. You and your environment are the same. One stream of consciousness. You start to realize that every atom, every molecule, every fiber, every biophoton of light moves and morphs and shifts and blends from one to the other. The 75 trillion cells inside of your body, they're connected to the trillions upon trillions upon trillions upon trillions of cells that are next to your body, not outside of your body, but that are joined to your body. And those trillions of cells, they morph into the trees, into the flowers, into the birds, the fish, the oceans, the rivers, the mountains, the rocks, the sun everything, other fellow human beings, your brothers and sisters, 
we're connected. And you start to realize that you are nature. And nature isn't something outside of yourself, but you are a part of nature. You're not organs and muscles and bones and blood and tissue and veins wrapped in a bag of skin. You're so much more than that. You're beautiful, inside and out, powerful inside and out. Your light, your love, you're the universe. Number three, people that experience a shift, a vibrational shift, they start to laugh more. They laugh all the time always laughing, regularly laughing and they realize that it's okay to laugh because a lot of people they don't laugh and they take life too seriously but it's good to laugh it's good to be free laughing is such a potent medicine it makes you feel alive. It makes you realize that nothing is real. That everything is illusory. The only thing that is real is the invisible essence that flows through your veins. The light that you are. The creative, invisible, infinite, expansive substance that created you, me, and everything else. Everything visible and tangible. Everything invisible and intangible. It's this energy, this light, that fills the space and makes it so rich and bountiful. When you laugh, you know this, you feel this at the core of your being, inside your cosmic heart. Laughter is such a beautiful medicine. And it's being lost in the illusion that stops you laughing because everything seems so serious. Everything is confined to square boxes. Reading between the lines, believing in what you've been taught. But when you laugh, you see past this and you realize it's all bullshit. The only thing that is worth holding on to is something that you can't hold on to. It's something that you'll never truly grasp, but you know at the core of your being that that's what you are. Your light, your laughter, your love, your intelligence. An intelligence so vast and powerful so pure. Number four. Meditation. Stillness. Once you have that frequency shift, that DNA shift, that vibrational change, you start to enjoy the stillness. And you can't wait to step outside of the chatter of the mayhem and you enable the real you to emerge and to step forth and when that happens the real you creates a calm and serene space of stillness regardless of where you are and you realize that you don't need to step back you can be completely still in a meditative state bang in the middle of all the chaos and confusion in this concrete jungle reality, this 3D, third density world that so many are locked into. But that's changing. You know why? Because you're changing. Because I'm changing. And together we're shifting. Mountains, planets, stars, countries, continents, worlds. Stillness, 
is where the magic happens. Stillness is where the energy comes from. Stillness is where the magic lies. Inside the space. Inside the love. Inside your hearts, my friends. I love you so much. Meditation. Stillness. It becomes what you are. And from that place of stillness you learn to act with commitment, with confidence, in a motivated and inspirational fashion. You become impenetrable, a force to be reckoned with, a dominant force of nature, more powerful than the sun and the moon combined. Because you are the sun and the moon, you are the stars, you are everything and so much more. Number five, sleep. Once you have that vibrational shift, you learn, well not so learn, but remember that sleep is so important. Some nights you need it and some nights you don't. Sometimes you need to sleep in the day and other times you don't. But when it's time to sleep, you listen to your soul, you listen to your spirit, you listen to your body. And you sleep. And you wake up rejuvenated. You know that sleep is an integral part of your growth. Sleep is also when you travel. When you work with our brothers and sisters from the stars. On other missions that you already signed contracts on before you incarnated into this human form as the you that you are in this now space. Sleep is so important for so many reasons. To re-energize, to rejuvenate. The same as meditation, but more importantly to travel. When you're tired, shut your eyes and doze off. You may not know where you're going to, but trust that everything you do is so important. You are playing such an important role in the expansion of the cosmos, in the unfolding of humanity and the human race to return to unconditional love, this so-called ascension, which is really coming back to your heart to experience love in the depths of your soul. Love, love, love. That's what you are, be it, sleep, enjoy. Number six, you embrace humanity. Once you've experienced this vibrational shift, you love everyone. You love yourself, you love all other human beings, you love animals, you love flowers and trees, you get so much joy just by simply looking into a petal or watching a bumblebee buzz around or an ant and this army of friends crawling up the branch of a tree. A squirrel gathering nuts, blades of grass swaying in the breeze. open your heart to all things and you embrace our brothers and sisters. You feel the love for all things. You see past the physical. You look into the eyes and you see the light. You realize the truth that we're all one and you embrace it with every cell of your being. You realize that it's light, it's love and there's nothing more nothing less. Everything is equal. And you feel compassion for all things. You feel love. And the seventh one, number seven, people that have experienced a vibrational shift, they become aware of the awareness. And becoming aware of the awareness is so crucial. 
you remove yourself from this reality whilst being in this reality and then you remove yourself again so you observe yourself being in this reality whilst there is another part of you your multidimensional super powerful self is watching and observing the awareness that's observing the awareness and that is the key to space, to meditation, to nature, to clarity, to all things. You become an observer inside this space, watching yourself play this human game, falling in love, making so-called mistakes, and realizing that there are no mistakes, there's no good, there's no bad, there's no right, there's no wrong, it's just experience after experience after experience after experience. And every experience is important. We came into this human game to experience it all. So that's what we must do. You, me, everybody else. We must experience the force of nature within these human bodies. And experience all there is to experience. And love and enjoy and feel passion every single second, 24 seven, knowing that it's just an experience and that we're aware of the awareness that's enjoying that experience. I love you so much. I love you with my heart, with my soul, with every fiber of my entire being. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel now Please share these videos with your friends, with your family, with your loved ones. Together we really can make this world a much more harmonious place. Love is the key. Light is the key. Unity, divinity, joy, passion, compassion, sharing and caring. Breaking those bonds and barriers and illusions and stepping forth inwards into our hearts to reconnect as one as a whole to realize that there was nothing to reconnect to because we were connected all along it was just the illusion that illusory concept of separation duality doesn't exist but it seems so real in this human game I look forward to sharing with you again real soon one love my friends